Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Asana. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at Airtable.com and the fastest way to actually achieve or, or get to integration in Airtable.com it's just by simply writing down in the uh, search engine uh, Airtable.com slash integrations. As you can see, once we are here, Asana is the first option. We press on Asana, and as you can see, uh, all uh, Airtable integrations are powered by Zapier. I'll show you what that means uh, in the couple of minutes. Now, the second way how we can make it, it's through automate.io. I will leave to the link uh, to the automate.io uh, in the description of this video. So what we want to do, we want to go to the top corner of our screen, hover over integrations, and uh, we want to go to the bottom left corner on, of this pop-up window as see all categories. Now, we have to search from the apps that we want to integrate. Uh, in our case, the first one is Airtable. So as you can see, let's click on the Airtable. And the second one, as I said, is Asana. We click on Asana. And as you can see, those are some popular integrations between Airtable and Asana. So that's the one way how you can do it. But if you want to find uh, the integration for you, you can just create your own integration. Uh, so what's the trigger? The trigger uh, should start with uh, the first application you want to integrate. So in our case, it's Airtable. So those two options, let's go with the first one, new record. The second one is the action. The action will be powered by Sana. So let's say add task. Well, once you hit try it now, it will um, redirect you to login. So basically you just make an account at uh, automate.io and uh, you just log in and finish your integration. Now to the Zapier. Zapier.com, as I said before, is an inter integration app and it helps our, our, our table to basically make the integration in the air table. So we have to create an account here. And once we are done, we want to go to the top left corner of our home screen or dashboard and we want to make a zap. Once we click on make a zap, we can name them. So let's go with Airtable to Asana in case you want to uh, make more integration and uh, be really tidy in uh, keeping them together. Now we have to set up the trigger number one. Uh, it's completely the same way. Uh, it works the same way at, uh, like at Automate. So let's go like this. We go with Airtable first. We now choose an event. Let's go with the first one. Uh, we have to log in with an account that we created for this reason. Set up a trigger. Those may vary because uh, every single one of you who will uh, try Airtable, you will you can basically start your own research or your workspace. So let's go with this and the value. Let's go with companies, for example. We hit continue, and now you can test your trigger. In the second action, uh, same as at uh, at automate we go with uh, Asana. Let's click on Asana. We choose an event. Let's go with the first one. We, we hit continue and now we just log in to the Asana. And that's basically it. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.